Mm. Like I said, uh, one of the things that's involved in my learning method is is uh, what we attempt to do is, is show you that life is enjoyable and most aspects of life are enjoyable and and a lot of people don't really enjoy life. They take it fairly seriously and and think that they're supposed to say take it seriously and that's the part, you know, and I really don't think that that's what we're here for because I don't think it's a serious event. It doesn't look serious to me. But a few years ago I had a, a patient come in and he had low back pain, real severe low back pain, couldn't stand up, was doing some drugs for it and we didn't want to do the drugs anymore so he came to me and I got work and I'm doing kinesiology and I said to him, okay, like, hey, this low back pain had an emotional beginning. And he said, what? I said, something traumatic happened in your life and and then you got back pain. And he said, yeah, that's absolutely true. He said, how do you know that? I said, that's not important. I said, with the kinesiology, you can tell stuff like that. I said, but, I said, what was, what was that emotional beginning of this? And he said, well, he said, a couple of weeks before this happened, he said, I sat down with my mistress. He was separated from his wife. They were getting divorced. And, and he said, I told her what my priorities were. And uh, he said, my priorities were my business, my family, my kids and her. And he said she didn't like it. He didn't like it at all. And there's this memorial bridge here uh, that people, I don't know, used to, I don't know whether they still do or not, um, come to jump. Uh, not bungee jump or not for fun to end their lives. And you go to this bridge and, and you, you throw a rock off or something and you can't see it. It goes so far down. It's like this monument because it was such an engineering feat to get across this valley. And you actually get woozy just looking over the edge of the bridge as it goes down and down and down and down forever. And he said that uh, his mistress went to the bridge and jumped. And his English was limited. My German is limited. So Nicole, my wife, was translating. And, and Nicole said, did she die? And he said, no. And we both burst out laughing. <laughs> and, and he was shocked because that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, oh my God, you're kidding. She jumped off the bridge. Oh my God, then what happened? She didn't die. Oh. And so he said, why are you laughing? And Nicole said, well, she sounds like a spectacularly ineffective individual. You know what I mean? You go, because the bridge, like I said, I don't know how you can do it. I don't know how many people, well, he knows two people, this guy, who jumped from this bridge and not died. Um, he talked about a guy that he went to high school with, real skinny, went there in the wintertime, uh, to jump off the bridge, jumped off the bridge. Uh, his coat filled up with air as he went down. It was deep winter, landed in the snow, didn't even break him bones. I mean, his, his girlfriend got hurt massively, but we about found both of them entertaining. One, it has nothing to do with me. Whether it happened or not, I don't know. I am going to be entertained by life and by what people do and look at their effectiveness. If they're not effective, I'm going to enjoy their ineffectiveness. But, quirky point of view, quirky way of living, uh, it comes from an operating system that allows you to enjoy life www.micpeakperformance.com